It's getting chilly, let's make another delicious soup. This one you can make three different ways. I used about two pounds of yellow potatoes diced in one inch pieces. Don't be lazy, peel those potatoes. I finally diced a sweet yellow onion and sauteed one pound of ground sausage. I used a bunch of kale, about six cups, tear the leaves and discard the stems and the veins, otherwise it'll get bitter. Cook the onions until translucent and then add the sausage. When these are already cooked, add two teaspoons of minced garlic. Add two tablespoons of flour as a thickener. Cook it for a couple minutes until combined. Add the cooked potatoes. I would cook the potatoes about 15 minutes covered until they're fork tender. Add 32 ounces of your favorite chicken broth. My hubby used up all my heavy cream, so I'm adding two tablespoons of potato flakes to act as an extra thickener. I just learned that from Emmy from Frugal Money Saver. Thanks, Emmy. Add the kale and cook until wilted. Oops, the pot's too small. I have to switch to another pot. So you could eat the soup like this if you like broth soups or if you wanna freeze it for later and add the cream later. That's great too. Putting it in a mason jar will help preserve it longer. I like to use a cup and a half of heavy cream, but this time I'm using half and half. Add a teaspoon of salt and pepper to taste. I added a tiny bit of red pepper flakes, but that's optional. With the addition of the potato flakes, it became a hearty potato soup, and my hubby loved it. For my portion, I thinned it out with a little more chicken broth, like Zuppa Toscana from Olive Garden. I changed it a little bit, but thank you, Tiffany, from Creme de la Creme for your delicious recipe. Serve with a pinch of Parmesan cheese and your favorite Italian bread. I hope you love this recipe. Take care till next time. Thanks for watching. Happy cooking.